had a few days to reflect on the performance and result against Celtic. How do you look back on it? Yeah, well, a lot of pleasure. I thought um, players put so much into the game and we got the outcome that we wanted, you know, for the effort. Um, as I said, the, the back end of the first half was a wee bit more in tune with what we were trying to be. Um, we had some good chances, but the second half performance, you know, I think the amount of turnovers we had uh, in their half of the pitch allowed us, I think, to get confidence from that. And you know, it wasn't just a case of stopping Celtic, it was a case of us actually playing well as well and creating chances. So it's good for the players. It is only three points, but nonetheless, any time you can beat a team as good as Celtic, you've got to take the, the benefit from that. Um, you know, I, I've been pretty consistent with saying that I've been pleased with the level of performance throughout the season. You don't always get the uh, the results. Um, so it's been a good few days winning at Aberdeen, beating Celtic. Um, it allays the wee bit of the frustration we had from what I felt was a strong performance here against Hearts. I thought we could have um, um, won that game with a performance. So we're now getting to these next block of games and obviously starting with that with Livingston now we, um, an opportunity and hopefully to try and keep uh, winning games, get used to winning games and uh, take the confidence from beating the Celtic. And I was here at the start of the season when you said the difference between survival last season and top six this season is beating teams like Celtic and Rangers. You've done it three times now. What's changed in last season this season that allows you to do that? I think we've got, I think we've got a better squad. I think that's such a simplistic answer for me, but I think we've got a better squad. I think there's a better... Um, um, I think a better level of player, uh, no disrespect, but the players who were here last season did the job that was asked and you know, we're internally grateful for that. But I think from this time around, you know, right from the outset we had certain things that we wanted to try and tick. Uh, winning away from home, beating having a performance in us that could beat Rangers and Celtic. But also to just to go and deliver more consistent performances and, and in turn the demand shifts and you've got to try and then be um, higher up the table, um, you know, where, where we are, where we are in the top six and it's nice to be there. Let every manager will think there's been a few more points we've, we've gave up and we could have been even better, but I think when you put it in relation to last season, I think we've scored, uh, I think we've conceded 11 goals less, I think we've scored five or six goals more, we've got eight points better off, more clean sheets, you know, our defensive record's been really strong as well, so, um, and we've done that with picking up injuries as well, we've had a few injuries to some key players, so I think that demonstrates the strength of the squad, which, um, you know, I think this season I feel that I've got the answers in the building to help win different types of games. We've got a different type of game on Saturday, you know, against Livingston, and, and that's what the Premier League throws up. You, you're playing against your Celtics and your Rangers, you're going to some tough venues, and then you're playing um, against teams who have a, a similar kind of... Um, budgets and outcomes and, and, and des desires and it's like a lot of the time games can be sometimes can be just have to be fought out and dug out and, and uh, I think we've got good enough people to kind of win both types of games. And does your goals change? You mentioned there that you would be up and down the table. Do your goals change the further you go in the season and the point you to accumulate? Have your goals changed in the start of the season? I didn't off? mention we're up and down the table. I, I, I don't want to be up and down the table. I want us to be in the top six. I want us to remain and hang about the top six for as long as possible when we're, we're not quite at halfway stage um, we're not complete the second round of games yet but normally um, you know kind of rule of thumb is where you are normally at the turn of the year is normally where you kind of set your sights um, you know it, it's normally sees the teams who are involved in relegation teams involved in top six teams involved in Europe teams involved in the title and we want to be hanging about the top six for as long as possible so um that's no change. There's not a lot in this league between any of the teams, so we're all striving for that consistency. Any team's capable of beating each other on any given day. And you mentioned a depleted squad. How's it looking ahead of the game against Livingston? Um, we've got Kel McGuinness back in the squad, which is a game brilliant for us. You know, he was arguably my best player when he got injured. So to have him back involved is great. Um, obviously, we're mindful he's been at a, a period of time, so. Um, but the opportunity to get him involved again over these next few games is, is there for us, so we're delighted with that. Um, a couple of wee knocks on the weekend. I think only Liam Donnelly is one that's given us a wee bit of concern, just with a wee bit of tightness in the hamstring, but he's actually improving. Um, I think it was just accumulation of the three games in the week, um, having not played a lot of football of late. And David Watson comes back into things from his suspension, so the squad is relatively strong. Um, the only one that we could say for definite is out is Ben Cameron for this one. And what kind of challenge are you expecting from Livingston on Saturday? 
a tough game. Uh, listen, they're too good a team for their run to continue. Um, that that will change at some point, um, and some point soon. We just need to hope that um, they, they 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 get back to winning ways um, next week, not this week. And uh, uh, you never get an easy game against Livingston. You know, we uh, two defeats there last year on the road. Um, and we know it's a tough place to go. I thought they were unfortunate not to get something for the game against Hibs, having watched the game. Um, and uh, as I say, I think that we always expect a tough game, no matter no matter what. Yes, they're on a poor run. I don't expect that to continue. As I said, we played against a team Celtic who were unbeaten in the league. It doesn't really matter who you, you who you come up against. I think it would be naive to think, as a manager and my players, to think that we're going to get anything other than a tough game. And it's it'll be what we do is will be the biggest gauge for us. And you said you've got the answers in house. Does that mean that going into the January window, you don't expect to see too much change with your squad? I don't expect to see too much at all. I'd like to to add to it. Um, I don't think there'll be a manager out there who'll say they don't want to do nothing. Um, I'd like to try and maybe just give us maybe a different um, attacking threat. But you know, we're um, um, it's always difficult to do, do that. We tried and tried and tried in the summer, and January can be a bit difficult for that as well. But it doesn't stop you trying and. But you know, I'm quite happy with where we are um, in terms of the squad. Um, I think when uh, when we've got everybody fit, I probably get a bit of a headache to who all starts and who plays. And even recently, there's been boys who've been on the bench who have been unlucky not to start games. The lads behind the squad, uh, the team that's been playing at a minute, is really driving the standards. You know, I've watched training again today, and it's. It's, it's a consistent uh, top performances in training from your Rory McKenzie's and your Fraser Murray's, your Andrew Dallas, all these boys training extremely well and and, uh, and still can't get into the team at the minute. But the team, as I say, has been pretty consistent. So um, you never say never and obviously January can throw up some injuries and you've got an opportunity to react to it. Um, but we're, we're not looking to do too much at this moment. If this was the last day of January, I wouldn't be doing too much um, other than trying to maybe just bring another attacking option to the team.